Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So welcome to the lecture 8 uh, in this uh, series which we are learning uh, in which we, uh, in the series which we are learning the basic component of compose in the previous lecture we have learned about how to use constraint layer. So in this video we will create uh, make a hands-on experience on the constraint layout. So we will create an upcoming event just like this and uh, the link of the figma design is given in the description below you can access it from from there so in the figma design here we have uh, uh, the design uh, uh, in the pages section you scroll down here and click on des uh, free design file and you can access all the uh, screen design and its components here so here we have a home screen and in home screen we have an upcoming event section which contains different cards which are scrollable horizontally so in this video we will use uh, constraint layout to make this card as you can see here this card has uh, different components uh, which are overlapping here just like the this image has uh, on the left top left uh, top left corner they have a uh, white box which contains 10th june and on the right side it contains a white box which contains a bookmark icon and uh, below that in the third row we have uh, an image avatars here which are showing uh, overlapping each other so there are these are few things which we have in here and we will achieve these things using constraint layout so let's jump to the coding and here i will create a new package for this screen and it's a home screen and here i will create uh, a new file i will name it as upcoming event card so i will create a file here upcoming event card So first of all, uh, let's examine the uh, layout of uh, this card. So we have an image here which contains two components on uh, which are overlay overlaying it and that text. And this thing. So let's uh, do this one uh, by one, and not uh, 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 make it complex by seeing the whole components and uh, digging. To each component uh, partially just take one component and first complete it then move to the next component so first we will pick this component and uh, draw it so as we can see here it's an image here and uh, we will export this image by double clicking on it and click on this image and uh, yeah this is the image here so i will make it 4x export this image and uh, another is this uh, icon here so i will export this as well make it 4x and export it so in downloads we have uh, this image and here we have the bookmark icon
so I will copy both of these images to our project okay so first I will draw this image here Now let's see the preview in here, build and refresh. Okay, so our image have been uh, drawn here, uh, but it should be fill the whole area which is allocated to this image. For that, we will set the content scale property to fill bound okay and the next is we need to show these uh, boxes on the top left and top right corner so for that i will uh, wrap this image into a constraint layout put it here and now I will create a three variables here image date box bookmark box Okay, so now next create a box in here actually we have a date value and text so for that I will use column and I will change it to date container and bookmark container okay make the background color white and corner rounded and apply the padding 8 dp and now put the text which is 10th june and uh, what is the size of this text
I am not able to see the size of this text because it's uh, um, uh, showing mixed here. So I will uh, do this uh, manually by uh, considering that, that it's bold and size may be up to 32. And the next is this color, so I will copy this color, color code from here. It uh, looks like uh, near to red color, so I will go to our color file. And see if that color exists here, if it's not exist then I will create a red one color 0xff and paste the color code here red color and red one and build and refresh because we have added a color in the other file okay so color have been applied so the next is uh, the June text so I will copy this text below here and June and its weight is less so I will make it normal and uh, also decrease its size to 28 and uh, make this horizontal arrangement horizontal alignment to center horizontally so now our text has been centered vertically i think the font size is too high on my side so let's decrease it because it's not that much amount of size of that text so i will uh, decrease the size to 24 and 22 and put some margin on the top and the left so here I will put the margin on the top and left for that there are two ways to put margin on that for the first way is the easiest way that on the background before background method I will call another padding method and top to 10 dp and start to 10 dp in compose we have uh, not any uh, we haven't any uh, margin method we will use the padding method to set, uh, set the margin and the padding to any component so in this way if we are using padding before the background then it will be considered as a margin to this column and if we use the padding method after the background then it will be considered as the padding to this component so yeah this is it so let's increase the height of this image first I will increase the height of this image to 400 okay it's too much height actually let's make it 300 okay maybe 250 would be enough for this image okay so yeah that's uh, that is good so let's increase the weight of this tenth I will make it extra bold and decrease the size further of this June string 
okay so this is uh, good and uh, seems reasonable according to our design so the next is uh, show the bookmark but before that as we are using constraint layout so we know that we can achieve this thing a few things uh, without constraint but the whole purpose of this uh, lecture is to understand how we can use compose in different scenarios and uh, so I will remove this one and uh, use constraint as this is the date container and uh, align the left start of this uh, uh, container to the start of the parent container so for that start link to parent and give padding 10 dp top link to parent and make it 10 dp wire showing error here type mismatch we have image here we have this one here or see in our demo screen how we are using it constraint scope okay we need to uh, make the start of this uh, box to the start of the parent and parent dot top okay so margin have been applied to this box so, so the next is we need to show this box with bookmark icon so here I will need have date container okay. 
bookmark container which only contains one component only so I will use box for that background color white padding would be 8 dp and constraint would be actually I will put the constraint uh, at the end of this after the end of this uh, after completing uh, the bookmark container so here I will uh, use bookmark icon for that what is the size of this icon is 14 so I will show icon Okay, so our bookmark icon is strong, but uh, it's showing the different color here. So for that, I will set the color. What is the color of this red? this color is not in our color file so I will copy this make it red 2 and paste in here the red 2 color is red 2 and build and refresh it this is because we have added a color in our color file okay so it's have been uh, shown here so the next thing is we need to move this uh, bookmark container to the top right of this uh, constraint layout so for that I will use constraint as and uh, bookmark container top link to parent top and margin would be 10 dp and uh, right actually end link to parent dot end and it would be 10 dp so let's wait for the preview so now it's showing on the right side of the container according to our design so the next thing is we need to show this below content we will make this uh, thing round for the next thing we need to make this rounded so for that I will use the clip property here at the container and uh, rounded corner shape 12 dp 
Yeah, so our uh, image has been uh, rounded according to our design. So the next is we need to show this uh, text here, international band, and uh, these avatar images overlapping with each other. So for that, I have the components uh, in a vertical order like this container and the text and this plus 20 going uh, in a row so for that i will wrap this whole component into a column so i will name it as image container and uh, here i will use uh, column and which would be width fill max background color white and here I will use uh, uh, actually put this image container into this and now here I will show this title here and uh, what is the size and font properties of this color it says uh, medium 18 size and airbnb carousel app and uh, the color is black so i will set the color to black font family is uh, airbnb carrier app so for that i will i need the f uh, font which is mentioned in this file so this font is i have already copied that downloaded that font this font and uh, need to put that font in the drawables resources file create a new resource directory for font and one thing the, this font is already linked in the video description so you can download download it from there paste it here and the next is we need to use that font for that code is we need to make a new file in here font and copy the code so I will make this the, make this uh, lecture shorter for that I already written that code so just copy that code Make sure when uh, you are importing this the font family should be compose.ui text.font compose.ui.text.font and the font weight okay so that's it so, so we have all the uh, airbnb carrier uh, fonts like book black light median bold and extra bold 
so in our current title we have the medium and size is 18 so for that I will go to here here BNB medium and size is 18 SP so as I have added the different uh, files in the resources and uh, a new file of font then for that I need to to see the preview I need to build and refresh it so it will render the things which uh, we have may applied in it